Hey there cats, good time of the day to you and thank you for tuning into my channel. This is Ridge Racer 2 on PSP and this is a Devil Kid Tour. Well, this is gonna be a short one because the track is really quicky and there are only two races, both on the same track, one forward, one into the reverse. It won't take us more than six minutes. It is not a hard duel because, the, once again, the track is relatively simple and Danvers are kinda an excellent cars for simple tracks. But I'm kinda happy to be facing the small H car once again. Uh, H, Ash, yeah, it's the French pronunciation. I like the small Ash cars. Well, you know, I've just been thinking how correctly PSP have been doing these uh, comeback games. I remember there was Burnout Legend, uh, Burnout Legends uh, game, uh, which was pretty much uh, everything you've seen in Burnout way before the Legends, including several things from Burnout 2. It was, it was really cool to see a game like this, and Ridge Racer 2 on PSP, it is also a great uh, comeback game. It uses a lot of uh, a lot of names and tracks and stuff that has been used in Rage Racer, in uh, Rage Racer 5, in, in the old titles, you know. And it is not a simple remaster. It is uh, kind of a sequel done right, you know. It shows you that time moves on. It is a next game, and so the designs move on. Uh, I mean, I, I, d I would definitely like to see an old Bayonet, a uh, Rage Racer Bayonet uh, and a Rage Racer hijack in a game like this, but on the other hand, it would have been far less interesting and I simply love the new hijack design, for example, not so much for Bayonet, sure, but whether I'm liking them or not, thing is, it shows you that uh, things are moving on, just not eat them up. Yeah, let's listen to the Rotterdam Nation. I just can't stand eat them up. Can't stand Pac-Man, damn it. Uh, either way, I just love how it's done. It shows kind of the old cars uh, in the new design. It shows changes, it shows progress. It is like comparing Battletech with Warhammer 40,000 in terms of uh, tabletop games, because my biggest problem with Warhammer 40,000 is uh, it doesn't move forward, and when it moves forward, you wish it wouldn't move forward <laughs> anymore, like never ever. Battletech, Battletech on the other hand, it constantly moves forward, it shows you that the story progresses and uh, it shows you that things change in the universe. Same about Ridge Racer, it shows you that there is progress in the universe, in the universe of Ridge Racer. It moves forward, things change, and it is kind of incredible for the racing game to be done in uh, the style Ridge Racer have been done. I mean, I really have never seen anything quite like that. In Ridge Racer 7 you could see all those little news blurbs uh, in the running line and um, in the news sticker, so to say, and it was a small, little part of the design, but it worked so incredibly well, in my opinion. It showed you the whole world around you, how it lived, how it lived outside of the racetrack. And you, you are just a driver in it. You love your job, you are doing your job, but still, you are just a driver. And it, it, it is amazing how well it is done. And overall, it is really sad that the Ridge Racer series is pretty much dead by now. Because, yeah, I think up to some point they've did all the right things to keep it going on the right tracks. Oh, either way, here we go for the finish line, and we are done! So, that was the Devil Kid duel. Quite a good time, if I might say. Well, yeah. That was it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for being with me and good luck.